and, and that's how you describe the, the nucleus. So that would suggest that's how you describe the cat. So the question is, is the correct description of this cat uh, both alive and dead with some different probabilities that can change over time? But is that the correct description? And then you open it, of course, you see that it's one or the other. And so the question is, is that nonsense? Or the modern interpretation, especially the many worlds interpretation would be that there's a universe where I, where, where, where this thing is decayed and the, the, the cat's in and I open this up and I see that it's alive or dead. So there's a universe in which I see it alive and the universe in which I see it dead. And the whole thing is just a big ensemble of probabilities called a wave function. So it was initially a kind of thing to say, well, this is a bit weird. It's got weird implications, quantum mechanics. And, and ultimately it does have weird implications. And so that's it. So let's say it's the sleeping version, shall we, just to be all right. So that's Schrodinger's cat. What's your IQ? Don't know. But I, I, I saw somewhere some really ridiculous report that I'm happy to accept. And it was in, I think it was in a newspaper somewhere. And it said that my IQ was like uh, one of the highest ever measured. It's never been measured. So I've no idea how high my IQ is.